Hi everyone, I'm Annie TP and I'm having trouble with the camera for some reason, so it's just going to be like that for now. Welcome back to my Kirby Superstar walkthrough. Yay! Everyone loves Kirby Superstar. And today in this part I will be uh, hopefully getting very close to the end of Milky Way Wishes. The last planet in Milky Way Wishes is Half Moon. And it's the same in both games, so, well, it's generally quite similar. So that's nice. Well, we start in a very windy room and then it becomes very starry, so well, it's kind of a transition there. Ow. So... I would recommend taking this star as a shortcut. It's faster than just flying through all that stuff. And it's one of the only places in the Kirby series where you can take a warp star to another part of the room. Not including those, um, I think, warp stars and triple deluxe. There's a lot of hidden goodies in here that you can find you just have to look for them because they're not in plain sight. So we're in this. Uh, I'm gonna just be Captain Obvious for a second, and we're out of the windy part and into the starry area. Actually, I think in the end it becomes windy and starry. Uh, I like to take an ability for this. And you have to be careful not to forget to float, like I did in Mech Eye. And that door leads to Mirror. So now we only have one copy deluxe, copy essence deluxe to get. That's what they're called in Kirby Superstar Ultra, anyway. So. Oh. It's a lot of. Things. I forgot they're called. Uh, if you jump off the trolley here, you, you can find a metamato and a lot of food. There's a lot of food in this room. I would uh, actually not take the warp star, although it is shorter. You can get some cool stuff that way uh, by not taking it. If you're low on health, uh, like. Which is highly um, highly unlikely because there was just a metamato in that last room. There's actually a one up in or two in here though, so that's why I'm just showing that off. A uh, double mini boss attack. Chef Kawasaki and Iron Man. Uh well, Chef Kawasaki throws plates and tries to catch you with his pan. Iron Man does a lot of punching. Uh, for double mini bosses, I usually spend a lot of time up in the air. And a lot of time not talking. Because that's one of the things you need to concentrate for. And that brings us to the last room, which is windy and starry, like I said. Uh, you have to watch out for the enemies on your way up, which can mean patience, and I know a lot of people don't have much patience. I just take that shortcut there. Uh, whoa. Oh, man. Okay, there we go. That's how you get Ninja. Uh, a lot of abilities... This is dumb. Hey, <laughs> yeah, laugh, weird laugh. Uh, so now we have all the copy... Copy Essences Deluxe in this game. I keep mixing up their names, like Copy Deluxe Essence and Deluxe, deluxe Essence of Copy and stuff. Am I standing in thin air? Is that, is that just me? Am I seeing things? Is this? Oh, okay. That's a glitch, isn't it? Yeah, that's a, that must be a glitch. 
Where is that? Does that not work anymore? I don't know. I, I don't. I have no idea. I don't know anything. That's besides the point. Since we are basically through with Half Moon, we just have to fight a boss, and then that should wrap it up. All nice and pretty. And that's right. The boss of Half Moon is a new and improved computer virus. Uh, for the most part, the enemies are new, except for this witch enemy. The witch returns. Uh, I guess I'm using Ninja for this. When you're not attacking, I recommend just guarding. That's a lot easier. Unless you're speedrunning, no guarding, which I don't do. Because I'm terrible at that. Speedrunning. And that takes up a lot of time, which I don't have. A lot of people don't have. Well, I'm really, it's just that oh, I'm terrible at speedrunning and, and this. See, this is... That was perfect. Okay. There we go. I don't know why I wasn't working before. I guess I wasn't standing close enough. And the red, red dragon with the first attacks. Okay. I think if you use hammer, you can just well, like breeze through this boss. Like a lot of bosses in this game, hammer is just a boss nightmare. I don't guard here, but it, that does not help me, as you can see. So I might as well just guard there as well. Defeats all enemies. Oh, 180 experience points. Humor points. Appetite points. Well, I can see that, but beauty and honesty, really? Fever points. Why do I even need fever points? I know, I'm missing the joke. It's a joke, I know. Anyways, that wraps up Half Moon. Nice. So, in the next part, I suppose I will be... I don't know if I'm going to split the final boss into two parts. And that's right, in the next part we'll have... It's gonna have some boss fighting in there. I'll think about it. Yeah, so I'll see you later.